Changing the specs of a website in the middle or the end of a project is a huge issue. Most web designers often experience this when working with their clients. Often our clients might not fully know what they want in the beginning, so how do we begin to address this issue? Well, that's difficult. They are the client, and they're the ones with the checkbook. In my opinion, these issues can be prevented through the use of a process we have been utilizing in this course and others you may take with me, the web development lifecycle. Through the use of the web development lifecycle, we as web designers can strategically take our clients through a process by which we can gather information, analyze their users, and then design and develop a functional website. In the end, our goal is to provide our clients with a site that is defined by their purpose, accomplishes their goals, and meets all of their needs, but more importantly, the needs of their users. Therefore, it's important to know what gets communicated to the web designer at the beginning may or may not be accurate. The designer should know that there's ever, if there's ever a misunderstanding that is not corrected during the development, then the website could potentially end up not being what the client wanted, or more importantly, what the user wanted or thinks that they want. Clients do not come to a design meeting actually knowing what their users need. I mean, they often do not do this. They may think they know, but it's often inaccurate. So it's up to the web designer to analyze the wants of the client, that is, the purpose and goals of their site, to try to come up with what their users actually need. Therefore, it's important for us to know that through this process of creating a website using the web development lifecycle, changes will occur. These most likely will be to the benefit of, our, of the users. Think about what we all do as consumers when we shop clothes. We go in and, and look at the same size shirt in 20 different styles. Then eventually we choose one that meets our needs. A client should be able to have the same experience when they're buying their website. Do, you, do we go to the Gap and right, walk right up to the register and buy a pair of pants without looking around, trying things on? Why should a client purchase a, purchasing a site be any different? If you're truly going through the web development lifecycle with your client to develop their site, this means that you're including them in the process. Having an open line of communication is key to the success of the website. By having constant contact with the client, sending them prototypes, getting their feedback, and giving them feedback, the users will end up getting what they really need because accommodations were made. So that's the advantage of being an agile web designer. By involving our clients in each phase of developing their websites and at the same time knowing that each phase builds upon the previous and can potentially affect the previous and or future phases, you will end up with a product that meets the needs of the client and the user. It's often during the analysis phase of developing a site that a project might have to go backwards a bit. But remember, it's much cheaper to do this now rather than later, so be sure that you are agile and can accommodate these changes during any phase, because you definitely do not want to do a 360 when it gets to reviewing and testing. Take a second and look at some of these tenets of the Agile Manifesto. Business people and developers must work together, uh, build projects around motivated individuals, you know, give them an environment that uh, that they support and, and need and you know the most effective and efficient method of conveying information uh, is with face-to-face -face conversation between the client and the development team you know so instead of crossing off phases off your list with models that are more rigid our process must be agile and we are as we are prototyping for the client as the agile manifesto states you know we should believe in customer collaboration rather than contract negotiation this type of feedback can be difficult, but remember, you're designing a website that's not for you, it's for the client, but more importantly, it's for their users. Good luck.